I'm making no secret. I make it absolutely no secret. I don't like him, okay. And for very specific reasons. You see, it irks me that this character gets so much attention because it really wasn't worth it. He did little for the development and progress of blacks. Unless you're from the school of thought that believes trolling for guilt to get government jobs and low expectation marks to fill quotas in colleges is some kind of progress. The reality is that humans strive to excel. Unless you're fearful, think of yourself as inferior. Because when you think yourself inferior, you beg for equality. You take the path of least resistance. You riot and destroy your own neighborhoods in a pathetic hope that the powers that be will rebuild them. And if you follow a shell of a man who desperately chased the favor of a people who've cursed their name and so the leg legacy of fear, resentment, and distrust that exists as strong as the days it did then, then you'll understand why blacks are what they are. Check this one. Oh, what? Oh, how the hell do I get out of here? You know, and the thing is, the dream, the dream he was told to read, it did not get blacks any respect. Power breeds respect, and true respect which elevates a man's social standing and protects him from injustice. It comes only with real development. And this most certainly does not come from the pity that MLK played upon on behalf of his puppeteers. The only real power is economic, scientific, and physical, which in turn creates the political. Period. It's no secret that all men are created equal, and that through erudition, planning, and camaraderie, anything can be accomplished by any race. China proved it, Japan proved it, Germany proved it after being defeated. You just need a common cause and realistic goals. And the thing is, that's why many resent blacks. It's not because they're good at basketball or some crap. It's not because they rap. No. It's because they act as if they've accomplished something by being beggars and living in delusion, but comforting their insecurities and f with fallacies of greatness in the long-forgotten past, of which I've talked about many times before. In my honest opinion, I have to say, MLK was probably... One of the worst things to happen to blacks at that time. Because what he essentially did was he, he took focus away from grassroots efforts to create economic dependence. The fight for real power. Those movements were looking to create and expand jobs in post-segregated America. Blacks had their own industry back then and they, they were trying to expand. He took the focus away from that and put it on integrating socially. Instead of integrating economically while building up yourselves culturally so that once you did integrate, you had your own base. As well as as well as the opportunity to network abroad. And the thing is he didn't he didn't address that. And he, and, he, and, it, and that was a calculated move. You see the grassroots efforts wanted to expand the jobs. They wanted to expand black business while at the same time address individual black communities' issues in order to create a bond for a national agenda. Once you get all the little crap out of the way, then you can create a base for a national agenda like the Jews have, like the Italians, the Armenians, etc. It's more than obvious that the powers that be recognize this. They saw the riots that going on before, during, and after King's death, which was the real reason they drafted the symbolic voting in Civil Rights Acts, 
and really just enforce laws that were already on the books and in the Constitution. And sent this shill to create a BS agenda of pseudo-inclusion into the white community without any way of competing with or navigating the way through the social structure coupled with a newfound resentment for education and progress you ended up with the idiots you have today. But not all blacks were blind to what MLK really was. When he came to when he came to California, they booed him because, as one put it, we wanted jobs, not your little dream. MLK's dream is not the black agenda. It does not represent the arrival of blacks to prominence at all. At best, it just creates a token holiday for conservative whites to pretend there isn't a race problem and for white liberals to continue to mollify blacks while ensuring they stay in a politically subservient position. I've said for years, blacks are con completely dependent upon the majority, and if something were to happen to the economy, they would be screwed, and that day has come. Hell, I bet the only reason, the only reason these idiots haven't taken to the streets it's because the president's mulatto and, the, and all the media had to do is make it look like an uphill battle for the poor president who's trying to better the lives and in these wars save America when in reality he's made big banks even bigger while they continue to do practices that they've always done and they're protected and none of the things that they've done are, have been deemed illegal. The regulations do not stop them from doing what they've done to cause the crisis in the first place. As far as the uh, troops and all that, hell, uh, Obama's sending more troops into Libya right now via Malta to finish off the Gaddafi since there are more green flag supporters coming out since the bombing stopped and they need to soak those resources. It's also why he's trying to break up the EU so that people don't start trading with the euro like Saddam wanted to do. Not to mention his support of the suppression of democratic reforms in Bahrain and Saudi Arabia and his support of the Egyptian military as he cracked down on citizens. He's trying to convince Uganda of not building refineries instead of exporting oil to the West. It's a chess game. And blacks are playing dice in the corner. American democracy has always been about majority rules. The masses of each group make up independent nations. For instance, the Jews have a national agenda, even if all of its members do not agree with it, as do Armenians, Iranians, Mexicans, etc. And if the masses of any groups are viewed as ignorant, ineffective do-nothings, then it's good judgment that's passed on all members of the race. But those who are critical of its existence which usually is those who represent the most power, i.e. white people. And then other people that wield more power than the said group that's deemed worthless. It's also why a lot of non-American blacks tend to distance themselves because they know that most blacks are ineffective. They know that the majority of blacks here are not progressive. At best, they're working class, and they use that working class to make it seem like most blacks are some large middle class with all this power, and they're not. Hell, <laughs> what's really sad is the ones that do have power distance themselves from the rest of the blacks because they know how counterproductive they are. They know how stagnant they are. And so they try to keep their distance and focus on what they need to do. Which I honestly believe is a smart move because, like I said, blacks have no idea how to wield power. They have no idea how to obtain it. And they really don't want it because they don't want to have to deal with responsibility at all. You see, when, when, when blacks are put in this position where people judge the entire race based on the idiots, it diminishes respect and it takes away from a pool of people willing to work with you equals on a road to elevating socially. 
Blacks, by and large, are not in the running. An individual mulatto president does not change the, this fact. Educated blacks have a lot, a few options outside of working in corporations or in the government, and that does, that doesn't change the social standing of the majority of blacks. MLK did not help blacks get power or wealth. It was essentially like medicine for the mentally ill. He doesn't help the patient. He helps the majority race by keeping the patient opiate and thus not a threat. So while I despise MLK and everything he stood for, it's obvious why they love and celebrate the, the great deceiver of blacks. Because he helped keep them in their place without any serious losses.